What do I look for when I'm auditioning people? I look for character. I'm looking for a glint in the eye. But first, I'm having to look for voice. If they can't sing it, they can't act it. <laughs> so, um, so voice has to be first. Uh, but then I'm looking for that something in their eye that makes them into an opera animal rather than a classical singer. That, then there is a big difference. That, that, that ability to multitask, that ability to lose yourself in character, that ability to interact with other people so you don't get that kind of glassy eyed thing that can sometimes happen and that, you know j j just just that that little there's an instinct there's an animal instinct in there that i'm looking for and and that for me is the difference because that and, and it's crucial that thing some people think oh it's only the voice you only cast off the voice but there's a lot of good people out there who can sing really really well so if you've got candidate a and candidate b who sing equally well what is it that tips the balance and in the end it's about acting talent and it's about stage awareness and that ability to be a stage animal and interact with other people and help tell a story and all of those crucial things and you can usually see that you can usually see that in a 10 minute 12 minute audition you can you know yeah you, you know you, you can just feel yourself relax and watch and enjoy someone that you know, the, 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 for those 12 minutes of, or 15 minutes of the audition, you, you just feel like, okay, this is good. I'm being performed to. I'm an audience. And, 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 uh, and, and, and you know. Um, like, I mean, the, the awful cliche about an audition is that what you're doing is you listen to the first bit, you're happy with the voice, and then you're waiting for the money notes at the end. The bit in the middle, not so much, but the, actually the bit in the middle is where they can prove themselves as an opera animal, as a performer. And it's that bit in the middle where they can take you through the structure of an aria. They can take you through what the character's going from. You know, if you're, I don't know, if you're singing The Count, you have to go from despair to elation in five minutes. Yeah, um, you know, if they can take you through that journey and show you the gear changes of it, then it you just see the kind of performer that they could be. And you're also looking for somebody that you think you can be in a room with for a couple of months. You know, if somebody is walking in and is being spectacularly difficult or is moaning about their cold or is moaning about their journey there or something like that, you're performing the second you get into the room. Um, and, and, it's, and it becomes about, are you somebody that is going to be a good company member? Are you going to be somebody that is going to be, or it's going to be all about them for two months? You know, because I'm not interested in that person.